Hi there. If you came from a previous video of this video series, then click in the chapter marker down below to start the video. If you just started this video because you found this on YouTube, then you should be clicking on the uh, card here above to get you to the first video of the video series. Because this is more an interactive video series where you can click from one video to another depending on what your setup is. Thanks for watching. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to connect the phone via Wi-Fi internally to our OBS PC. Make sure that the media source is set up correctly and that we get a video feed. For this we now see need to set up IL Pro. So if you go into the Play Store and you search for IL Pro, you install that. Once you install the app, you have to obviously give it the permissions and then we launch the app. So the first thing we do is we click on the settings icon in the top left, the gear icon, and um, we then go into connections, new connection, and we name this home internal. So the URL for that is our um, internal IP, so SRT colon forward slash forward slash, in my case then 10.55.199.7 colon 2222.2, that's the port that we defined. Audio and video needs to be selected. There's literally not much more that we set up for now. Uh, we will be setting max bandwidth on the outbound phone. We then go out and look into bonding and make sure that it is not enabled for home internal as we don't want it for internal testing. So the one thing that is important is that in the video parameters that have is enabled, that's what we want. And then we leave the settings again. We click play, the stream starts. And as you can see in the background on OBS, the stream has popped up. So internally, this is perfectly working. So as we already have figured out our outside IP earlier, we will now try to test the stream over the internet with the port forwarding or the tunnel, depending on what your setup was. It is the same for those two configurations. So IL Pro will be set up with a streaming IP for 91.189.70.211 in my case. And the port 22222, of course. So we go back into the settings of IL Pro. And we create a new connection again. And this one we can just call Home External. The URL then is SRT colon forward slash forward slash 91.189.70.211. And I forgot the port. So back and add that the colon. Two, 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 so five twos. Now I can save it. We untick the home internal and we tick the home external. Okay, that's okay. So we'll um, close the browser. Don't need that. 
to phone a little move here. Oh, wrong button. And start the stream. And that would be the message you get if something is wrong. Let me just fix that. Two thousand years later. Um, and we click on play. And um, as you can see in the background, there is the image from the camera. So that has worked. So it's perfect. So that tells me the port forwarding is working and uh, everything is right. So the next step now would be to set up no IP or a similar DIN DNS or something, which gives your streaming PC a host name that you can type into, into your encoder and that uh, updates when your IP changes because in many cases you will have a dynamic IP that occasionally changes and you don't want to look it up for every stream what your IP is now. Okay.